If ghosting is one of the biggest reasons why you find job hunting soul crushing, you are not alone. Welcome to reason number 10 in our 15 reasons why job hunting is so hard and 45 ways to make it fast and fun again. And so many people are just sick and tired of getting ghosted because it is the worst. You spend all that time putting your resume together, crafting the perfect cover letter or email. You put all that blood, sweat, and tears into it, and then you hear nothing but crickets. And here's something I want you to consider, and I really want you to think about this. Do you want to be efficient, or would you rather be effective? The reason ghosting is so pervasive is because we rely way too heavily on automation to help us move faster. When in reality, the dependency on technology slows down getting the results that you want for yourself. And here's why. Technology allows for anonymity. And anonymity eliminates accountability. So if you can hide behind technology, then you don't have to feel guilty or worry about ghosting or not getting back in touch with someone. But when you rehumanize the job search and you stop relying on technology, you're gonna to start to get the results that you want so much faster. I want you to take a challenge today and quadruple the amount of time that you spend interacting with people and reducing the amount of time you spend cruising the job boards by the same amount. And you are gonna to start to build that momentum and it's gonna get you where you wanna go in a much more effective way. Does it take longer? Sure, but you get the results that you need. So here are three ways that we are gonna take ghosting out of the job search and get back to having fun and building that momentum that you need. Number one is give the people that you're working with or talking to an easy way out. People hate to say no and they hate to disappoint. So the easiest way to tell you no is to tell you nothing. But if you give them a graceful way out and they have an opportunity to do that without feeling like they're being judged or that you know there's gonna be something negative that happens because of that, you'll at least get a yes or a no instead of staying in limbo and not hearing anything at all. The second thing you wanna think about is as often as you can, try and make this a win-win for both of you because people are gonna be more inclined to respond when there is something in it for them. So if you can make a connection or share insights or do something that they're interested in as a part of your engagement with whoever you're talking to, then they're gonna get back to you faster because they want what you have and you want what they have and it all works so much better. So make sure whenever you can, try and bring something to the situation that's of value to the person that you're talking to. And then number three is you're gonna to have to follow up significantly more than you're doing right now. One email and done is not nearly enough to stay on the radar as busy as people are and with the hectic lives that we live. So you need to stay on top of mind by following up, sharing information that might be interested in, engaging them with their social media posts, introducing them to people in your connections. You want to stay top of mind without being that creepy stalker person that everybody tries to avoid. So the more frequent you respond, the better. And I know we feel weird about that, but I'm telling you it works. You need to follow up 11 times more than you are right now. So in order to make ghosting a thing of the past and take that out of the soul crushing part of job hunting, here's what you need to do. Rely more on human touch, less on technology, give your people a graceful way out, as often as you can bring something to the table that they're interested in and you need to significantly do more follow-up and stay top of mind than you think is necessary because people are just too busy. And if you want other tips on how to move faster, we've got amazing programs that I need you to check out by clicking the link in this post. If you are looking for a role, if you are thinking about sitting on the sidelines and waiting for that perfect opportunity, or if you're happy where you are and you just never know when that, bell, that phone is gonna ring, you need to be ready to take that next opportunity. And that is what we do is we help you love Mondays every day and we give you the tools and the capabilities to move faster and get your career back on track and where you want it to be. I'm Tammy Alvarez, the creator of the Career Winner's Circle, and I am looking forward to seeing you on the inside.